Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm here to do y'all summons. I'm here to do some summons that I did not do yesterday because I was tired, okay? So this is going to still be for Sunday, March the 19th, 2023. We'll be reading 1 Corinthians chapter 7 in the New Testament. Okay, y'all should already know who they are, okay? And if I have to stop, I will, okay? So let's begin. Now, concerning the things about which you wrote to me, is it good for a man not to touch a woman? But because of sexual immortality, let, let each man have his own wife and let each woman have her own husband. Now, y'all should know this is about Shanita, Shanice, Krina, and her crew having sex with Michael. All his, all his personas, okay? Any, all his personas you can think of. T-shirt, zero, Michael, Dolph, okay, so on and so on and so on, okay, let, even including means, okay, means want it, you know, I'm hearing zero, okay, anyways, okay, okay. all means love zero, anyways, let the husband give his wife the affection owed her, and likewise, also the wife, her husband, the wife doesn't have authority over her own body, but the husband. Likewise, also the husband doesn't have authority over his own body, but the wife. I told you they got married. Don't, don't deprive one another unless it is by consent for a season that you may give yourself to fasting and prayer and may be together again. That Satan doesn't tempt you because of your lack of self-control. I'm Satan, I'm just playing. But this I say by way of concession, not of commandment. Yet, I wish that all men was like me. However, each man had his own gift from God, one of this kind and another of that kind. But I say to the unmarried and to the widows, it is good for them if they remain, even as I am. But if they don't have self-control, let them marry, for it's better to marry than to bond. So that's why I'm still a widow, okay? But to the married, I command not I, but the Lord, that the wife not leave her husband. But if she departs, let her remain unmarried, or else be reconciled to her husband. And that the husband not leave his wife. But to the rest, I, not the Lord, say, if any brother has an unbelieving wife, and she is content to live with him, let him not leave her. The woman who has an unbelieving husband and he is content to live with her, let her not leave her husband. Okay? I don't. For the unbelieving husband is sanctified in the wife, and the unbelieving wife is sanctified in the husband. Otherwise, your children will be unclean, but now they are holy. Yet, now, holy is not what y'all think holy is. The holy, holy is some devil shit, okay? That I ain't, that I don't know yet. But when it comes to me, I let y'all know. Yet, if the unbeliever departs, let there be separation. The brother or the sister is not under bondage in such cases. But God had called us, had called us in peace. For how do you know, wife, whether you will save your husband? Or how do you know, husband, whether you will save your wife? Only as the Lord had distributed to each man, as God has called each, so let him walk. So I command in all the assemblies. Was anyone called having been circumcised? Let, let him not become uncircumcised. Has anyone been called in uncircumcised? Let him not be circumcised. Circumcision is nothing, and uncircumcision is nothing, but the keeping of the commandments of God. Let each man stay in that calling in which you was called. Were you called being a bond servant? Don't let that bother you. I'm even a bondsman. But if you get an opportunity to become free, lose it. Yeah, it's, about some, it's like some jail stuff, okay? For he who was called in the Lord being the bond servant is the Lord's free man. Likewise, he who was called being free is Messiah's bond servant. You were bought with a price. Don't become bond servants of men. See, I told you Michael was captured and bought. 
brothers and all his personas, brothers, all his spirits, brothers, let, let each man in whatever condition he was called stay in that condition with God. Now, concerning virgins, virgins is just pureness, pureness, okay? Now, concerning virgins, I have no commandments from the Lord, but I give my judgment as one who had attained mercy from the Lord to be trustworthy. Therefore, I think that because of the distress that is on us, that it's good for a man to remain as he is. Are you bound to a wife? Don't seek to be freed. Are you free from a wife? Don't seek a wife. But if you marry, you have not seen it. If a virgin marries, she has not seen it. Yet such will have oppression in the flesh, and I want to spare you. But I say this, brothers. The time is short, that from now on, both those who have wives may be as though they have none. So I feel like if they capture you, they want you to be saved in their covenant. Okay? And those who reap as though they didn't reap. And those who rejoice as though they didn't rejoice. And those who buy as though they don't, they didn't possess. And those who lose the world as not losing it to the fullest. For the mode of the world passes away. But I desire to have you to be free from cares. He who is unmarried is concerned for the things of the Lord, how he may please the Lord. But he who is married is concerned about the things of the world, how he may please his wife. There is also a difference between a wife and a virgin. The unmarried woman cares about the things of the Lord, that she may be holy both in body and in spirit. But she who is married cares about the things of the world, how she may please her husband. This I say for your own profit, not that I may ensnare you, but for, but for that which is appropriate, and that you may attend to the Lord without distractions. But if, but if any man thinks that he is behaving improperly towards his virgin, if she is the past the flower of her age, and she needs so requires, let him do what he desires. He doesn't sin, let them marry. But he who stands steadfast in his heart, having no urgency, but he has power over his own will, and had determined in his own heart to keep his own virgin, does well. So then both... He who gives his own virgin in marriage does well, and he who doesn't give her in marriage does better. What? A wife is bound by law for as long as her husband lives, but if the husband is dead, she is free to be married to whomever she desires, only in the Lord. But if she is happier, if she stays as she is, in my judgment, and I think that I also have God's spirit. So that is 1 Corinthians chapter 7 in the New Testament. Okay, enjoy.